Hi, welcome back to SAP Business Object Processing Framework demo series. So in the last class, we saw how we can model the action in the business object node. So today we see how we can implement the logic to change our uh, status, status attribute value. So let's go back to our class. So let me copy this and open a new session. I'll put the PO in display mode. I'll open a new session and SE SE twenty four. Open a class. Put the class and display that, and double click on execute. Or open the execute method implementation part. Let's start writing the logic. So same approach. So let's get the data of our. Business object node instance. So to read the data, read the node instance value. I will read, read, and control space, and use the method retrieve, and control shift enter. So let here. So either you can go and use your um constant interface to represent your node or we can use your let's see node root so we know that this action has been modeled on the root node and then i pass it key which is a importing parameter value so which is a importing parameter here we mapping it i don't want this parameter and by default, this is uh, IV fill is true. Uh, and I'll remove that. Okay. I'll just define these two. Okay. So I'll by default, IV fill is fill data is above true. So I'll keep that just to inform that I am reading the data from the framework. So what attribute I want to read? I just want to have a different way of implementing it. So when somebody read this, you know this action implementation they should be able to you uh, know see what is the functionality is implemented and what is the data has been handled here so for that so they are saying is it requested attribute which is a type of data lt requested attribute view type slash bobf slash tfrw name I just know it or maybe if you want to check you can go and check this you know this uh, retrieve method and I will read save and you have a retrieve go back set parameter and you can see requested attributes as type of this one so you can you have to verify it what is the type of each attribute before you start implementing it so since I know it, I just directly provided that information. And okay, so I'll just pass this information. So how do I how do I fill the values? So I'm going to tell okay to this um, so insert value uh, I would say okay is that I F R E T order this from my constant interface, I know the attributes are available. So I'll use the node attribute. So from which node, root node, and then the attribute is. So I want to get my um, LC status, okay? LC status into table. Okay, yeah, insert this string into this table. So now, 
so uh, all the importing value is passed so let's pass the uh, let's get the exporting value from the method so i don't want to use the et data sorry evo message i want the et data so let's say lt order root so we declare the attribute added object for that i so from here let's go back to our business object modeling t code and find out what is my type of my uh, root node so this is my table type let's copy this name and put it here on this table type i'm creating this data object so now my retrieve is done so once the retrieve is done i'm going to um i'm going to implement the logic to you know change the status value to uh, change the status value so loop at oh sorry and into so we know that reference into data lr order root where lc status is is not initial okay so this is the way i want to do that mm. so this is action we modeled as for a conform status so let me put it like this lc status equal to so what's the value you want to pass let me go back to modeling and we want to see what are the values are available in the domains and so we know ncr ncr df okay so we have a, so let me go back to here so i would say lc status can new order c conformed r reject we delivered f finished okay so now we want to pass this confirmed as a c then we know how to modify the changes to framework instance so i will modify update so and then so you can use this way of representing the node or maybe i can use the is context too so just to for your practice or understanding i'm using different different option or otherwise you can go with that you no know, see the constant interface but preferably is a constant interface as long as you know this particular class or the implementation is meant for only one particular functionalities constant interface is best if you want to have something to be a dynamic or generic way of uh, generic way the implement logic you want to write then you go with this all the context details that will work better for that okay i just go here and pass the key so this is a key is the attribute okay i don't want to pass the root key I want to pass the data what has been changed i know we know that is data the type of uh, importing parameters are reference to data type so that's the reason we declared it like this and we passing that information so let we want to have that changed since we use the same structure and this is a similar attribute i can use it directly here okay so the implementation is pretty much done for the modification and where the status is um, is not initial
so my expectation is always the instance should have a, when you are creating it it should have a new as a status okay so otherwise we, we don't want to be allow this action to be executed so this is the way we implemented it so now the action implementation is done so we done with the coding part let in the next session we see how we can test this part thank you